everyone, Simon here again. Simon's Tales number eight, continuing on. Hopefully you've seen the last one. Stood in Soy 7, looking at house. Sue, the Thai woman, boss, frozen next to me. A house, Soy 7, weird. Anyway, went through this gate and went in, up some steps, like a, uh, which way did they go? Go that way, sort of curved steps, in through a door, and we walked through up the building, there was loads of rooms and roof veranda and rooms on the roof and anyway, and we come back down to the front sort of lounge and Sue said, this is perfect. She said, uh, somewhere in the conversation she said, the price is right, we can turn this into a great bar where, and she then started explaining, we build a roof house over the front, but the front That'll be the front part of the bar, steps up here into this room, back part of the bar, get a kitchen at the back, a storeroom, some toilets, then upstairs all accommodation. She said, but there'll be a room for you Simon, and the room I'd spotted was the first one above the bar, it was a nice big room, en suite with bath, and that veranda, and I said, that room's mine. She said, yep, yeah. the room above, she said, is going to be the cashier from um the uh, soapy and her husband who works for sue as well and then all the other rooms one at the back is going to be my office and my accommodation all the other rooms going up will be for girls working in the bar we'll do a deal with girls that way we'll get more girls and we'll probably put a couple more rooms on the top for more girls oh, that's amazing i said but this is a huge building job she said no she said i will get all the builders in and we'll have this done in three weeks. Um, and I said, Frozen like that, do you want a room? And she said, no, no, Frozen didn't want a room. So I was like, wow, you're gonna turn this house into a bar. And it's exciting, you know, you, you're suddenly in the process of building a bar, planning a bar in Thailand great opportunity to watch it all happen and how it all happens sue had some serious contacts the fact she could get a building crew at the snap of her fingers and she'd get a building crew to come and do this total renovation mind you all the rooms upstairs didn't need anything doing to them just smartening them up smartening up and decorating and locks and things put on doors um but downstairs kitchen storeroom toilets but then the what was the lounge with a window and a doorway all that knocked through and the front turned into a bar so that was a huge with roof and shut that was a big part but she said no three weeks maybe quicker we'll have this and she said we've got to discuss a name and we came up with a name soy seven fun bar um and we get this done she said all you've got to do is sort out mr boss and the other bar get that handed over so and if you come out of there and you you've sorted as much as you can you'll still be on salary while we're doing this she said we've got some we need some ideas you can join in with the design and stuff well brilliant frozen was laughing she's got the bar she's on salary she's got to just find some girls which will be easy for soy seven um depending where your bar is if you're managing a bar or buying a bar own a bar depending where it is in, in Patea, is how easy you can get girls. If you're in a bad location, it's harder. If you're in prime location, it attracts the girls quickly and easily because at the end of the day, they're trying to create commission as tour guides. <laughs> and there we were, it was amazing. So out we came and it's like, oh, fantastic, okay. I'm going to uh, head off later to the bar and I'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll have a meeting each morning on lunchtime. Keep you up to date what's happening at the other bar. Discuss the new bar. All good. Off Sue walks. Frozen and me walks to the bikes. Talks to Frozen and Frozen said, this is great. You know, this is really good. Great place for a bar. This will do really well. We'll be brilliant. We'll get all the girls. She said, I'm... She was going to come down tonight, even though she's been sacked. 
So I'm going to get those girls. I've got the other girls' numbers. I'll tell all those girls that what's happening. And I'll sign them up ready for when the bar opens. Okay. Brilliant. And we said our goodbyes. I thought I'm just going to go to the other bar. Even though it was sort of lunchtime-ish. I thought I'd just go. See what needs sorting out. What mess is there from the night before. And I wandered off to the bar. Again the bar was locked. Because it was lunchtime. I thought that Mr Boss being keen would have that bar open uh, without me would have it open at lunchtime with the skeleton staff uh, trying to get extra money but no turned up at the bar parked my bike on the pavement outside unlocked the door and yes again there was rung the security guard leaning against the bar well he was almost asleep on the bar and he'd been drinking again so whether he'd stayed up all night drinking free drinking emptying the draft beer I don't know anyway I came in he woke up uh, and he sort of mumbled something and up, off he walked again upstairs disappeared I didn't have the room upstairs anymore so I wasn't bothered about going upstairs but I did have the office and locked the front door went up there Sue had a computer in that in that office um had a computer on a desk, chair, and there was a desk there for me, and a chair. And in the corner of that office, so the, remember that that bar was two buildings stuck together. Uh, the right hand one had all the rooms, so it was higher rise, you know, three, four floors or whatever. The left one was just the two ground floor and the first floor. But there was a connecting door to one of the short time rooms. Um, and I went up into the office. Sue's computer had gone, the desks had gone, and a dentist curtain system had appeared. I mean, I came up and it was like, whoa. So there were curtains, a dent like a rail where the curtains pull, like a hospital almost, where you have bays. And there was, I think, three or maybe four of these curtains and I pulled the curtain back and there's a sort of a sofa settee double seat um, chair in each of the bays and I thought well where have those come from in one night and mind you I hadn't been in that office the day before I hadn't been in there for ages so it might have been sometime over the few days but but it was like the dentist's section it, it just reminded me of a dentist or a hospital but four settees curtains and the door in the corner um was open so i wandered in and that was a short time room and uh all looked fine came back into the what was the office and thinking well this suddenly looks like this office has now been turned into an oral extraction zone which was a clever business if that was the case but that would be well it would bring different clientele for sure anyway I thought well it's not my business anymore it's you know and I came back down I started thinking about it. Mr. Boss had got this section in very crafty and good business. There was a separate stairwell on the left side going up to there. There was a room hooked to there that, if it went from oral to more major <laughs> extraction required, there was a room off. Yeah, quite a good idea, good business. I hadn't thought of that. Should have. <laughs> that was going to be interesting you know uh, who were the dental assistants hmm because they're probably a different have different qualifications had Mr Boss actually got a load of dental assistants from somewhere that he already knew <laughs> yeah 
the signing outside stayed the same there was no new placards up there was no new signs advertising dental surgery uh, and for those of you who haven't twigged about this the dental side and the oral extraction it's a sort of a funny take on a famous road in Patea called Soy 6 so do a bit of googling googling and you'll see or look back on I'm sure I've done a video about OSR bars I think I called them or something like that back in my back catalogue give you a clue so down I came back down now I'd arranged to meet this other lad um, before five and uh, I had a drink playing pool again I got the door open I got the music on no customers must have been about four-ish this other and he was an English lad came turned up on his bike parked his bike a bit further down came in and it's like wow this he hadn't been he, this this is an amazing bar and I anyway I gave him a guided tour walked him round um, pulled the door to locked the door took him up showed him all the short time rooms minus the one where the security guard and the cleaner lived walked him through all the rooms then took him up to the other side and explained that this new dental area was new to me I had no idea about it and he loved that and I walked around the whole place and he said this is a dream bar to run he said it's fabulous it can be so much potential and he really got excited um, and I said well you might as well stay now when Mr Boss eventually turns up I'll tell him he's paying you a salary as of now and we'll introduce you, you know if, he, if you get on with him you, you start now I was keen to get out of there you can tell later uh, the a few girls turned up about five and grumpy the mama son was supposed to be there at five to sort the girls out didn't show mr. boss I thought he would be he would be there with his new setup I thought he'd be there at five he didn't show so I trying to talk to the five girls that turned up and asked about this new bit and uh, like they didn't know anything about it so, okay right I've got this new guy there who's going to be wanting to be the manager and there's no Mama San turned up no Mr Boss so we just played pool and drank customers started coming in girls started coming in to use the short time room and this this I'm not going to give him a name the new lad but anyway he was most impressed with the traffic for the rooms and he was looking I think he he was looking for a girlfriend so he was most impressed now I never got involved with any of girls at either bar ever because you don't mix business with pleasure and that was my rule this lad moving forward didn't have that rule <laughs> so maybe one day I'll tell you about <laughs> what happened to him in, in the future eventually Mr. Boss turned up still no grumpy mama son Mr. Boss come in said hi <coughs> and I said where's the mama son and he said oh she's out looking for girls then I said to him about this new area and he said mm, good yeah 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 and I said yeah special girls he said yeah have sorted coming soon then I introduced him to this lad and as I said he spoke better Thai this uh, English lad than me and they just clicked they just Mr. Boss and this lad clicked they could communicate they understood they hit it off which was like that was my that was amazing it was like oh thank you and they sat down drinking and I said to Mr. Boss I interrupted I said what do you think is this lad you know okay to be your manager and work here and take over from me and he's like yeah re yeah really happy and he sort of blanked me I said oh whatever then Mama San Grumpy walked through the door with a new girl started talking to the girl showing her around 
the other girls were bringing a couple of customers in but it was quiet the money wasn't there and I'm like well, I'm like a spare lemon now so I said okay everything's fine I'll see you tomorrow you know, maybe nine o'clock I said to grumpy I'll see you tomorrow I said to mr. boss and my friend I said you're on salary now I said to mr. boss he's yeah we've sorted salary out everything brilliant and I said to mr. boss I'll come and see you tomorrow and I said to my friend you're over it's yours now you take over <laughs> and I'll come tomorrow and help you with some more stuff and he's brilliant thanks I'm out of there gone <laughs> onto the bike through off the walking street was closed so I had to get my bike through and cut through the alley and get out the back way I was gone <laughs> yeah I was like I had enough and uh, yeah I headed to a bar actually I uh, found myself somewhere in second row drinking yeah hmm Anyway, there's another one over. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. And the new bar. Bye for now.